team. You don't want a junk drawer for a baseball team. <laughs> you want to have a little bit more specific things in mind. <laughs> Absolutely, that is priority one. And the Twins are trying not to be junk this time around. And it looks like there is a good chemistry here already with the team. You haven't been around here for a while, but this is your first real opportunity sure. to see what's here. And what have you felt in the clubhouse? Yeah, well, you know, um, obviously last year was a good year until the last stretch. Um, a lot of the health broke down on the club collectively and they had trouble overcoming that. But I think with Rocco's leadership, um, Carlos coming back, um, a lot of these guys getting a taste of meaningful games down the stretch. A lot of the pieces are in place, and the front office has done a great job of supplementing the roster. Some of the moves they made even yesterday with Solano, right? So um, I think Carlos, when I've been around him the last couple of days, the seeds that he is planting about our goal is to win championships, you start permeating that through your clubhouse and getting kid, people to buy in, the work that it takes, the day-to-day -day commitment. You're onto something really good, and, and I see a really hopeful season that's going to end with some October baseball and hopefully maybe even to November. All right, now speaking of putting the work in, you were doing that already this morning. We shot some video of you yeah. over on the other field working on base running. And like I mentioned, well, you had 500 career yeah. stolen bases well, plus, so you know what it takes to get it done and how much that can change a game. Well, you know, I've emphasized the minor league side the last couple of years in my work, and I had some good conversations with Rocco this winter. He was very much on board with trying to find a way to have his club be more aggressive on the bases, try to take advantage of some of the new rules and, and some of those things. And uh, he asked about, you know, bringing me down here for a week just to kind of be a supplemental voice and maybe reinforce some things that he's trying to establish as a foundation for how we're going to try to go about running the bases this year. And I don't know everything, but I think experience does help. And, uh, you know, you get a team that's aggressive and they make – put pressure on the defensive club, you can create a lot of run scoring opportunities, which leads to wins, obviously. And that's what Rocco's trying to get accomplished. And you look at the whole organization here and the, and the rule changes, and there's so many meetings right now. It, it seems like there's almost plethora of meetings. I mean, we only have a handful of guys out here already, and it's 1030 in the morning down here. But they have to get it right here. Sure. They can't use April and May to figure it out. No, we're trying to get that um, done as best we can. Some of it's going to be going out there and just see how some of the things play out, whether it's the pitch clock or, you know, the, sh the shortened distance between bases because of the size and, of course, the throwovers to first base. And I don't think anybody knows for sure exactly how <laughs> these changes are going to affect the game. It might depend a little bit on your personnel. But there's no, no use complaining about these things, you know. Get it right down here as best you can, and hopefully it's not an issue once we start the season at the end of March.